Aye. It's approximately nine in the morning. We're on Blackpool Beach. Um, just doing a bit of freelance video work, uh, but that's not important right now. In this episode, obviously you're coming along with us to all our weddings as usual, and even to a family wedding of ours. You can be a plus one. In the last episode, I told the story on how we get referrals from previous brides, uh, but one of the other good ways to secure jobs is actually networking with other photographers, uh, venues, uh, suppliers. And this reminded me of a story uh, recently when we were doing a one-to-one -one with a brand new videographer, and we mentioned that one of the best ways is to meet other videographers. Does the plane going over the top? Um, where was it? Uh, yeah, just to obviously get in with the other videographers or other suppliers. And he actually said to us, he said, uh, what, what do you mean, second shoot from? I said, no, go for a pint, go for a coffee. So with that in mind, let's go for a pint. <laughs> wedding videographer or photographer, um, part of your job is to be somewhat of a problem solver because you will be dealt certain situations um, which work against you, whether it's lighting, space, timing, and this eventually brings me to the point I'm trying to make. So we spoke to Becky and she told us where the dance, the first dance was taking place. So myself and Dave uh, Skulls Photography, the Bushmaster. David Skulls once again, he's in a bush. <laughs> there he is. Now the guests had filled the dance floor and just over their heads we noticed that the bride and groom had started dancing in a different area completely. Now I wish there could have been a picture of mine and Dave's face as we realised this and also as we panic ran through a six deep crowd to actually get through to the couple. So on behalf of RTP Films and Dave Skulls Photography, we'd like to apologise to every person that we nudged, parted, elbowed just to get through because this girl loved to dance and we needed to get that shot. So this is David Skulls in a bush as usual. <laughs> anyway, we are now off to Delamere Manor um, to see a very tall gentleman by the name of Stefan the Tall Toastmaster Grundy. Stefan has hired us to create some promotional material for his website, social media, uh, to show what he does on a wedding day. Everybody knows Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob is the person that turns up at a wedding with the biggest camera, the biggest lens, possibly a drone, and he's usually a hobbyist who is just keen to get photos of his family, which is fair enough. But Uncle Bob is not a wedding photographer, and Uncle Bob is not aware of his surroundings, so he will drift in front of shots when the confetti is just about to come down on the bride and groom. He will stand in the middle of the aisle as the bride and groom are coming up. And he definitely will divert everybody's eyes to him when they really should be looking at the wedding photographer. So why are we talking about Uncle Bob? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, we're gonna take you along to one of our family weddings. So this is my cousin Ashley with his fiance Lauren who are getting married at the Bellsfield uh, tomorrow in Cumbria. So Ashley asked me if I'd do something film-wise for his wedding and not wanting to be an Uncle Bob and getting the photographer's way or anybody else's way, I thought I'd try something 
a film more from the perspective of a guest. So to avoid being labelled as an Uncle Bob, I am just going to take the contents of this bag. So no gimbals, sliders, drones, monopods, anything like that. Just that bag. It's approximately half past nine. Um, I'm just outside the Bells Field. Um, where the wedding is taking place tomorrow for Ashley and Lauren. I just thought I'd come down because we've got nothing to do at the moment, we just had a big family meal. Uh, just come down to get a bit of B-roll so I don't have to worry about it later on because obviously as a guest I am going to be drinking so is Lisa so I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to come out at this time tomorrow anyway so I can just get these in the bag. Give us a wave out the window. Is that Amy? It's half past six, uh, we've just gone for a refresh in the hotel. Alex Burwell's playing some sort of 90s mix at the moment. We've got our trainers on. I've got a gravy stain. But I'm not changing my shirt because it's rock and roll. We are at Sturk House. Sturk House! I was there last week! Let's go back. Let's again, you did so right. It's right in the Quiff Smith. And Alex the Flirtwell Burwell. Oh. I, I, I don't know, I don't know who it is. And we are just about to do the first dance and they are going to smash it. Yes, that, that. they're going to do all them smashing. They're going to get it on. They're going to get it on. We're going to tear it on. Just on a side note, I've never really thought of doing a review before, but uh, we've been using the Black Widow Spider for the last two years. Now this obviously is what you attach your camera to your belt with. Um, I have two of these. And we were jumping around all night, so the camera was flapping around, never once came off. Really is a really solid, sturdy piece of equipment. Well, I think they're about 40 quid, something like that. See you next month.